Hi guys, welcome into short interlude video between my amplifier reviews. Uh, I'm doing uh, this uh, reviews of the tools I use because some of you asked me to do something like that. Uh, when you've seen uh, some of these uh, in the background of my videos. So anyway, uh, the first one was oscilloscope and the second one is uh, LCL, inductance, capacitance, resistance and few other parameters tester in form of handy tweezers. I actually got this uh, as a toy, let's say, because uh, a few weeks um, after I got this uh, oscilloscope that I've showed you earlier, uh, this was uh, recommended to me by Ali AliExpress application, because apparently many people that uh, got the oscilloscope got also this uh, LCL ST1 uh, tweezers. Uh, I thought that this is actually a very good idea and the tool is uh, very small. I don't know how to show the scale. Oh, let's like that. This is a typical pen. So it's very small, it's very handy. And the idea is that you can measure all the things it can measure, more about that in a minute, uh, without removing the components from the board or from the speaker or from the amplifier using this tweezers at the end, like that. So it's small, it's handy, and it actually proved to be useful because I'm able to check some of the things uh, in the boards that I sometimes repair uh, for my family. Uh, I'm the go-to guy if something's broken uh, and it's powered by electricity. Uh, so I'm also using these to test uh, capacitors because if you take a look at the capacitance measurement, it's also able to measure ESR parameter. So I can check the actual parameters for the capacitor, like for example, this one. Let's show you the display. Yep. And we can see that we have 3.3 thousands microfarads, which is completely fine because this is one of the niche icons that I got for zero zone monoblocks. I can also do something like that for MK pickups, although it's not as handy in this case because the uh, connectors are on different sides of the capacitor. Yep, 3.3 as return, and this is where it shines. Let's switch that to auto mode. Yep. In this setting, it will be detecting what kind of uh, actual element I'm checking. For example, let's check this SMD capacitor. Yep. No. No, it's... Yeah, let's move that to capacitance measurement. Yep. And it works. Let's get this one. Yep, it works. So, about the device itself. Uh, let's browse through the menu. Starting from auto mode, we can switch to resistance measure measurement, capacitance measurement, inductance measurement. This one is handy for the speakers and that was one of the reasons more serious reasons uh, why I got this one, because uh, I didn't own any kind of inductance meter earlier. And this is something handy if you want to measure the inductance of the coil in crossover, because um, many coils, especially handmade ones, do not have uh, any kind of labels on them. So you have no idea what's the actual inductance until you measure it. Uh, okay, so. The next one is checking for uh, conductivity. So diode tester with sound information. And again to auto mode. Uh, what's interesting here, we can change the voltage used to uh, metering uh, values and the frequency. So let's change that. We can choose between 0 0.6 and 0 0.3 volts. And we can change the frequency between 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, and 100 hertz. Uh, okay. Another handy thing about that 
is that it's battery powered. It can be charged by this USB-C port. And what actually surprised me very, very much is the fact that you can upgrade the firmware on this little meter using this USB port. And the other thing, uh, when you're doing the measurements, it's actually collecting the data into stored table inside. And you can export this data to Excel spreadsheet uh, on your computer. Uh, I've never used that, but this actually may be handy to some of you. And that's actually it. What's in the box? What's in the box? You get nice little bag for the meter. You get second set of uh, tweezers. These are arced. Uh, you get a USB-C cable. Uh, you get uh, some kind of metal plate to hang it on the wall because it has magnet on the back side. So if you will be using this in a kind of workshop where you when you have uh, where you have uh, more space for your tools, you can actually hang it on the wall or your drawer or anywhere. Uh, yeah, there's also very short and small instruction manual. But uh, I have to admit that I didn't actually uh, read it because uh, it's uh, very easy to operate. Uh, it's very, very easy and uh, you don't really have to have a degree, a master's degree to be able to operate that device. Okay, so let's power this off. Yes, it does have uh, auto power off feature and it does have configuration menu. I forgot to show you that one. Uh, you can enter the configuration menu by holding the top button for a longer time. Or was it this one? Yeah, this one. And you can change the language. Unfortunately, only English and Chinese. You can change the sound signal volume, backlight level. You can change the, town, uh, the time for automatic off. Let's get five minutes. Here. You can reset the to the factory settings and you can learn about the manufacturer. Yeah, I've paid for that uh, about 30 dollars, yes, 30 US dollars. And uh, one of the reasons that I'm recording this video right now is because it's uh, very easy to make and these are actually on sale right now. Uh, I know that not a lot of you have uh, watched my video on oscilloscope, all things considered. But if you do like to have your own set of tools uh, back home, uh, you may take a look at that one because they are actually cheaper right now. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video on the Celsius meter. It's small, it's actually useful, and it's cheap. So, very recommended. Thank you guys, and see you next time. And this time it will be the amplifier review.